After breaking the 54-hole scoring record during the third round, Elizabeth Zokel and Cheyenne Knight set themselves up for the trophy. So with the Dow Great Lakes Bay Invitational in the books, we have our winners. I'm Hope Arnett, and you're watching LPGA Now. Let's get into it. It's amazing to get my first win. It's something I've been working for for a long time, and it's so tough to win out here. They're, everyone's such a great player. So to finally do that, and it's even better with Cheyenne by my side. We've been talking about this event all year and since our good finish last year, and we couldn't wait to get back and to, to actually win is pretty amazing. You know, it's funny, Elizabeth told me on 18, she said, thanks for waiting for me to win <laughs> this year. Um, yeah, I think I've had a few like close calls this year. I've been in contention a few times and I really like haven't handled the pressure. Um, kind of let it get to me a little bit. Um, so we kind of joked at the beginning of the week, we we're like, why not win? Um, and honestly, like Elizabeth, like we've been friends for such a long time and I couldn't have asked for anything better than to get the win with her and it's such a fun event and you know, we're normally just kind of by ourselves out there. So to have someone so fun and positive and kind of like keep it light um, is just incredible. After getting off to what they would call a slow start, the two buckled down and started rolling them in. In the final round, they fired a five under 65, which would be enough to emerge victorious by one. Their first birdie of the day was on three. And then Elizabeth Zokel sunk this putt on 15 to card their fourth one of the round. Their last one of the day came on 17. And although they can take a deep breath now, Matilda Castron and Kelly Tan battled the whole way. They shot seven under during the final round. And then Matilda had this putt on 18 to force a playoff. In the end, they would walk away with a par. So Cheyenne Knight and Elizabeth Zokel raved about this tournament all week. So after finishing fourth in 2022, I think it's safe to say that the champions have earned it. So from Midland, Michigan to the Amundi Evian Championship in France, which by the way is what I've been doing the last 24 hours, getting to France, we have a major teed up and it's going to be a good week. So be sure to tune in and come back right here to watch LPGA Now.